So I just wanted to um, show you how I make the pockets in my books. Like, um, let me just get a book that I've made recently. So this one, this one that I've made for a really good friend's daughter's 21st birthday. And I've got pockets in here for her and I've made some tags to go in it. So the tags can kind of go in there and in there as well. She's got two pockets to put her private bits and pieces in or receipts or whatever she wants to save. And then there's another pocket on the back of the book there. Again, she can pop whatever she wants to in there. So these are the kinds of pockets that I usually put in my books. Um, I'm just going to show you now how or how they start life. So they'll start life as a scrap of paper like this. So when I've been making a project and I want to um, just make sure that I've got my letters aligned nicely or that the thing's printing out nicely, I'll always stamp it off on a scrap piece of paper first. This scrap piece of paper actually had some photographs on it that I'd... Um, I was using for another project and these were extra ones I didn't need. So again, I've had some spare paint from, I've been making some beads and things um, for which I wanted some black paint for and I had paint left over. So rather than waste it, I just, I've put it on here and that is the beginnings, that will be the beginnings of a pocket. Um, oh, how other ways, what other things I use is um, just junk mail. Uh, this actually was packaging from um, something that I bought and again I've had leftover paint from other projects I'll just slap it on um, onto various, again this is junk mail, this is just completely junk mail slapping on the paint, this is just using up the leftover paint and also if I've had um, ink on a stamp and I d don't want to waste that ink I'll just stamp it away on the on these papers this literally this is just that's how it starts just a piece of paper like that and yeah, I'll, I'll start building it up I'll always keep these to, to one side um, and I'll let's say spare bits of paint gesso anything I'll just start building them up um, you know until I'm happy that they're covered enough that I can use them for another project rather than waste this you know, it's good strength paper or card I don't want to waste it so I'll just paint it with my leftovers and start building up building up my layers and then you know it will keep building up and I've, this is one here that I've got that's that's getting near to being ready to use as a pocket so I've, I've it's been stamped and layered over a, a, a number of weeks, might probably months even. And this is the one that I'm probably going to use today. Um, I had some leftover fabric, some leftover pa uh, paper that I also stuck down. Um, yeah, just keep on layering up until I'm ready and then I will cut down to what size I want and and take off a piece of fab matching fabric to the project that I'm that I'm doing. In actual fact this one does match Maisie's book but I didn't use that one, I used this one. I could actually have put another pocket in there as well if I wanted to but I'm saving this for another project now. Um, and that's the same way that I make um, my tags actually. If I've got some card, some of this is, some of this paper is quite good strength card that's suitable for tags. That's quite a good weight piece of card that I've been painting up. So again, I I think I had some string left over from a project and I've put some stamped up tissue paper on there. Just basically layering up like I do when I'm doing my books um, until I've got a big sheet that I can cut down. And then um, on this particular project what this is is kind of like an, an acetate uh, I don't even think it's an acetate I think it's um what you if, like floral um I can't think what it's called you know that 
what you wrap flowers in anyway that I've literally glued that um, to my piece of card and on this one I've used glossy accents to um, seal it in I like to seal it in because otherwise it, it might peel off so that's sealed in with glossy accents but on my pockets I tend to sew it in so I've literally just sewn uh, stick it on first with glue and then just sew a nice little neat line around it you could hand sew it if you wanted to though um, and then that's a pocket ready to go that's just a really quick little um, chat um, I might show you myself to, I might show you me doing one in a moment um, when I get myself organized so this is the um, the stuff that I was talking about still can't remember what it's called but there you go um, so I need a piece roughly this design because the book that I'm making this for is the one that I've been making on camera and it's got cream um, ribbon on it so I thought the cream flowers I don't know if you can actually see that very well the clip you probably can uh, they're not flowers the green leaves would look quite nice against it so I'm literally going to plaster this in PVA let's just plaster it in PVA if you ever see me using a number 7 pot or my little pink plastic pot that's usually one of them usually has full strength PVA in it and the other one usually has watered down PVA in it so that I've got it ready to go for whatever project that I'm happen to be working on. So I think that is probably going to be enough glue. with that over 
And that's going to make sure that there's no glue on top and that I've smushed it in as much as I can over the surface. It doesn't look much at the moment, but hopefully when it's dry and the paint's then the glue's gone clear. what it looks like when it's dry.